Yeah, it's a bit disappointing for us today. Uh, we wanted to go out there and, and, and win, and, and we didn't do that today. And um, you know, we'll take some positives, but you know, we really need to work on you know, our kicking game and, and everything everything else. So hopefully we can bounce back next week and um, you know, enjoy our, our time with our families now with, uh, during Christmas and come back stronger. The errors that maybe cost Saints the game in Quinn's favour, were they self-inflicted or d did Quinn's come here and do a good job on you? Well, you know, these tight games, it, yeah, the bounce of the ball goes, um, can cost the, the team the game. So, um, you know, they they went wild today and they scored their points when, when needed and, and we didn't. So uh, we kicked a bit aimlessly today and, you know, they kind of they did wild to, to, to kick it back down. So... Um, there's a lot of puzzles we can take out out of this game, and you know we can we can bounce back. You mentioned bouncing back. You bounce back from that home defeat against Ulster. MK against Saracens next Sunday. It's an away game, but there'll be a lot of Saints fans there. How determined are you to put this this result right? Well, you know we're really determined. Yeah, uh, we don't want to be known as that, that kind of sometime team. You know we want to be a consistent team. And for us to to win some silverware this year, we need to we need to bounce back and and really push on from this and. And learn from mistakes. The weather helped a lot in, uh, in our downfall today. I think we weren't as sharp as, uh, as we were last week. Uh, but it's no massive, no massive is if uh, errors, no reason to push any panic buttons. Uh, we weren't on top of it today, but it's, uh, it will get right. Would you say it was just those little errors, maybe the, the handling, a few little kicks that Quinns did slightly better than the Saints? Yeah, there weren't a lot of differences, differences between the two teams out there. It's uh, just 50-50 balls and calls went their way. Uh, and that's, that made the difference. That's why it's so a low-scoring game. Given the way you came back at Ulster last week, having been beaten at home, is that the message going into next week against Saracens? Yeah, we've got a very high standards and we want to keep to it. So we, we don't want to go two steps forwards and one step back. So uh, we'll work on our, on, our, on our performances and standards and uh, there's no reason to think that it won't go right next week. Looking at that Saracens challenge, it's another top four battle. They won well today. Um, a side that came here and won earlier in the season is that extra motivation I guess? Yeah there will always be motivation I mean uh, like I said there's very high standards so uh, we we'll always want to be on top and uh, that's going to give the fire to go forward. Anything the coaches in particular just mentioned in the dressing room to work on? No there's always a lot of me, uh, emotion running around in a, in a change room after a loss so uh, we'll just go back to the drawing board on, on Thursday after Christmas and uh, set things right. It's an away game, but it's at Stadium MK. I mean, um, the fact that the Saints can get plenty of their own fans in there, is, is that a bit of extra motivation for the guys? Yeah, it's always nice uh, when you know, there's familiar faces uh, in the stands and especially you can hear the chanting. So uh, hopefully we get a full house and uh, it's going to be a big derby.